Hi guys, West Country Explorer here. That just over a year ago now, so today's the 3rd of April 2022, and back on the 1st of April last year, 21, Amy and I, we'd come to Shaftesbury for the day. I had a, I had a job interview on that particular day, down at the local prison. Didn't get that job, but anyway. On that particular day, after I'd had the job interview, Amy and I had come into the town, into Shaftesbury, to get a bit of a lunch and have a little bit of a look round. And I did a little bit of a video, just a very short video around the town centre. Now, I've been living here for about 10 months now in Shaftesbury, and Amy and I, we've like been owners of a house here since the end of September last year, so what's that? About six or seven months, something like that. Anyway, basically, we're not, we've been living in Shaftesbury a little while now, and as residents, we've got to know Shaftesbury a little bit better than we would have done as just visitors. And I thought, now that it's a year later, a year after I'd done that little short video around the town centre, I thought I'd do a bit more of an in-depth video, showing a bit more of Shaftesbury. So anyway guys, this is a, uh, in, well I say in-depth, <laughs> this is a bit more than a short explore, this is a, a medium explore, I suppose you could call it, of Shaftesbury. Well, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you after the intro, guys. Right, here we are at Castle Hill in Shaftesbury. Now, this is a lovely open area as you can see there would be a lovely place to come for like playing like sort of ball games kicking a ball around chucking the frisbees around picnics all that kind of stuff lovely bit of open space as you can see I'm not 100% sure why this is called Castle Hill. I'm guessing maybe there was some kind of fortified earthworks here that constituted some kind of a old fashioned castle or something like that. But anyway, yeah, this is Castle Hill. What I'll do is, guys, I'll just take you over there to give a bit of a close up of the views. Hopefully, you can hear the birds happily singing away. And more green down there in the at the bottom of the hill. I said it's a uh, lovely views as well. So not only a good place to come for ball games and the such like, also a lovely, lovely place to come for the views. Some spectacular views. Right, next to Castle Hill, we've got this, the Queen Mother Garden, just in here, just a little area you can come in. I suppose if Castle Hill's a bit busy and all the rest, I suppose this makes for a nice little secluded area to come and sit. Uh, 
as you can see there's uh, some good views from here as well Duncliffe Hill there sort of Quantox over in that direction Yeah, so this is the Queen Mother Garden. Right, so I'm currently near the top of St. James's Hill. And that house there that I'm recording, the centre part of the house, it predates the dissolution of Shaftesbury Abbey in 1530, was it 38 or 39? So, yeah, the centre part of that house, it was in existence in the early 16th century. And it's the oldest house in, in Shaftesbury. So, what's that? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So, yeah, about 500 odd years old, the centre part of that house. Very old house. I'm now on Torres Side of Town in the rope walk area. As you can see, there's some good views here as well. Melbury Beacon just over there. If you go over the castle here, you might still catch the sun. Well, I ran out of decent daylight Sunday evening, so I've now come out today to carry on recording Tuesday morning. And Sunday evening, I finished off recording up there, rope walk. I've come down through St. James's Park, little play areas around here. As you can hear, people are cutting the grass and all the rest. Very noisy. Here we've got St. James Street. And just along here, quite a nice little pub this. The two brewers. Do good feed. Do a monthly pub quiz. I think they do a monthly drag night as well. They've got absolutely fantastic views from the beer garden. Uh, definitely a good pub to come and visit. Just a bit further along St James Street, up there is the old meeting house. I guess it might have been a Methodist or a Wesleyan type church back in the day, looking at the design, that's what I'm guessing. But it's, as you can see nowadays, it's a private residence. I see tucked away from the main street a bit. Look at that thatch roof. Insurance company's nightmare. <laughs> Here we are at the old pump yard. Again still in St James Street. Very quaint. I think one of these places, it's an Airbnb now, one of the rooms. I don't know if I can zoom in. Pheasant on top of the roof. Zoom back out. Yeah, so the old pump yard. Right, and carry on a little bit further along St. James Street. A bit more to show you. So here we've got the Rolt Millennium Green. This area used to be owned by a lady called Helen Rolt. When she owned this bit of land, 
She had it as allotment for local people. But nowadays it's uh, just like a garden area for people to come to and just chill out. It's quite a nice little green space. So we're very close to St James Church now, down the bottom end of town. What I'm going to do guys is, I'm going to bring you all the way down the bottom. So there's some views to show you down here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but just in the distance there's the sounds of children playing. There's a little primary school nearby. Uh, primary school pretty much opposite St James Church. There you go. Lovely views. Up there, that's Melbury Hill, Melbury Beacon. If I remember rightly. So this is Rolt Millennium Green. I don't know if I picked that up very well. That's a couple of benches here with nice designs on the back. Rather interesting. There you go. Wow, a video of Shaftesbury somehow doesn't feel quite a hundred percent complete without Gold Hill being included in it. Good old Hovis Hill. Uh, I've included this in at least two of my videos. One of my videos was specifically me walking up and down Gold Hill. Oh it's a <laughs> steep old hill to climb up. I've cycled up it once, just to see if I could do it. Once is enough. No intention of cycling up again. Oh. Uh, like I said, absolutely amazing views. Oh, twizzle around so I can see where I'm going. Back end of the town hall and the salt cellar there. They do good food, salt cellar. So there we've got steps going up between the Town Hall and St Peter's Church to the High Street. There's the Tower of St Peter's Church. And next to it, this white building here. It's now an arts and crafts supply place. But as you can see from here, it used to be a priest's house. And then the sun and moon in. And obviously, just down this way, obviously this is the top end of Gold Hill. 
Got the old Hobius life there, model of it. And what I'm going to do, guys, is take you up these steps. The entrance to St. Peter's. And the time centre. And hope. Oh. Yeah, a little garden shop and nursery, never been in there myself. Nice little cap there, been there a few times. Bought a few bits and bobs from Coconut and Cotton. That's a nice little shop. There's a few nice little shops around here in this bit. This is the Swan Yard. I'll just bring you down here to this bit. If I come this way, do, 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 do. show you that. There you go. Right, in Muston's Lane, we've got this old church. It is now Santonino and the Trattoria, a lovely Italian place. Amy and I went there for the first time last day. Lovely meal. There's a car park round the back, free parking between 6pm and 8am, so you can come for an evening meal, park up for free, come round the side of the building and have a nice Italian. Now as you come up Muston's Lane, towards Bell Street, got this building in front of us, three storey building with a nice flat roof, and on the roof, See it? Yeah, have you spotted it? That's right. A couple of figures, statues of um, cats. Not sure what that's all about. Looks somewhat a bit random. And on the corner of Bell Street, Maston Lane, we've got that old sign. Mr. Punch's Market, but nowadays it's a barber shop. Yeah, but Muston's Lane's got Santonino Italian, good place to go for an Italian meal. Uh, I thought I'd do the outro in the library garden, so yeah, just oh, tell you what, if I twizzle around, there's a library behind me, yep, yeah, in the library garden. So in the summertime, you can Take a book out, and if you feel like it, come and start reading the book in the garden. So that's just a little bit more of an in-depth walk around Shaftesbury, showing you bits and pieces that I didn't show in my video about a year ago. Now, I haven't shown everything that there is to see in Shaftesbury. There's still quite a fair bit more that you could discover and explore in all of us. So Shaftesbury's definitely got a fair old bit to offer. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video guys, I've certainly enjoyed making it and I certainly love living in Shaftesbury, it's a lovely place to live. Uh, Amy, my wife, like I said, she's worthy and born and bred, but even she's settling in nicely to Shaftesbury and loving it, so uh, it's definitely a nice place to live, I'd recommend it. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, look forward to seeing you in the next one, and in the meantime guys, the usual, stay safe. Take care and God bless.